So, you picked Shune. Well, I gotta say, if it wasn't for this beta, I really wouldn't have picked any of these characters. None of them really interested me. Shoot, Shune definitely didn't interest me in 14, but I gave him a shot in 15, and I gotta say, he's pretty decent. Like, huh. Then going back to 14 just to try it out, I was like, oh, yeah. I'm glad I never picked him in 14, because if I would have did that in 14, definitely would have been trying him out in 15. But now, I say he's pretty fun. Am I gonna use him when 15 fully comes out? Probably not. I'm pretty sure I got my team set, but him and Yashiro was fun for the beta, so I'm pretty glad that I did give them a shot. But anyway, I got some tips for you. As the protagonist, your job is to do combos and look cool while doing it. I gotta say, out of all the characters, his combos look the coolest because they're really flashy and he got the whole fire and blue fire element combos. So he's always cool to do combos with. So first off, where to put Shune? I would say put him on point because he can build meter, which is pretty good and decent. True, at one point here, I built so much meter that when I won the round, has the opponent used against one bar for every time they lose, I still had more meter than him. Crazy. And with that, the best way for him to build meter is his air attack. His blue claw swipe builds a lot of meter and is good for spacing. As you see here, if you try to come in, you're gonna get smacked with it and it builds meter ridiculously fast. So just be annoying and just keep short hopping and doing it and you'll build some meter pretty fast. And characters are kind of afraid to come in because they can easily get smacked. Cause it's a good protection around him and it's pretty darn safe. I mean, don't challenge them with a punch, but if you do that and they block it, then you block, you're pretty safe. But if you try to punch them afterwards and they try to punch you, they're gonna punch you. Soon they got some solid combos. He can mix and match a lot of his different moves to his fire punch, to his anti-air, to his poke. He is ridiculously good and he can mix and match to almost any combo and they just work. So yeah, have fun with that. Hit that lab and just try which one you ever like to see because they're all pretty good. His fireball forward attack is ridiculously good at spacing. Look at this, it is really good. It's no projectile, but it's still pretty decent. The only thing that's weird though, the light version, the nails don't count as a hitbox, but the heavy do, so you gotta remember that. I still find that weird, cause like, it can touch them, but nothing happens, but if you do the heavy, those nails hurt. So, yeah, it's still kinda weird. And also the EX version causes a stun, so basically you can do a reset combo with it. Kinda like how the crush um, attack is. So basically you can do normal into crush and blow, to normal into EX stab, and then go into another combo or a super. And it works. I don't know exactly where to put this, but just a really funny side note. If you got the opponent in the corner and you do this combo right here, you can do his DP three times. You can do heavy punch into a forward light kick to EX hand swipe to EX DP to light DP to heavy DP. Then a super. That's ridiculous. Okay, so this is one thing that people keep on forgetting about that I don't really see nobody using with him. This man is an air master. He can dash four different directions. Down, back, forward, and diagonal forward. That's really good. And you can fake out a lot of people. Like for say, you got them in the corner. You jump backwards. Now they think they're safe to move forward. Dash back in and catch them with a heavy punch or heavy kick. It works every time, because people think since you're jumping backwards, they're safe and they'll walk forward. I used to do this all the time with Jury in Street Fighter 4 before they nerfed where she can't do her die kick jumping backwards no more. Because people always got caught with that. It is really easy. People's mindset of them jumping back means they're safe so they will walk forward. And they get caught. Because, you know, people don't want to be in the corner. So exploit that. And last but not least, yes, this is a JoJo reference. Sune is a well-rounded character. He excels in like a lot of space areas. He got some good poking. He can build meter and he got some really good combos. But that's the thing, he's just average. He doesn't excel in anything, but he doesn't lack in anything either. Unless full range where you don't have projectiles. But then again, there's a lot of characters in this game that don't really have projectiles like that. I would say nine times out of 10, it would be one character on somebody's team that's a projectile -less. All in all, if you mess with Sune, you'll soon be dead. Hey, it's Slick Tactics, and special thanks to Ignit Rizzi and Insavian. This channel is on its way to somewhere great thanks to this community's generosity. If you'd like to support what I do and make this channel even better, check out my Patreon. I have lots of goals and rewards in store, so stay tuned.